Today, we have so many different usernames and passwords that we have to remember that most people will just have their browser do it for them. While this is very convenient, it ends up leaving your credentials very exposed. Today, we'll learn about a ducky script that can use just a couple seconds of physical access to steal all of the user's credentials on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. A USB rubber ducky is a device which appears to be a harmless flash drive, but the computer actually sees as a keyboard, allowing it to do whatever you can do behind a computer just much, much faster. Using the rubber ducky and knowledge that Firefox doesn't securely encrypt all their users' credentials, we can easily write a script telling the rubber ducky to navigate to the page where Firefox shows these credentials, grab a screenshot of it, and then email it to ourselves, all in 30 seconds or less. In order to deploy this attack, we're going to need the USB rubber ducky itself, a micro SD card, and Java installed onto our computers. If you have any questions or need any help troubleshooting, you can check out my article, which is linked in the description. So let's get started. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. So now we see we have a screenshot of the exact page I was talking about earlier, except that the rubber ducky was able to do it in a fraction of the time that it would have taken us to take a screenshot and then email it to ourselves. So this is just one example of a quick and easy ducky script that you can deploy to do almost anything on someone else's computer, given you have physical access to it. While this attack can be extremely effective, it's important to remember to only use it against computers in which you have permission to do so, because otherwise you can land in some serious legal trouble. Again, if you have any questions or need any help troubleshooting, just check out my article, which is linked in the description. Thank you again for watching, and if you want to follow any future projects that I'm working on, you can follow me on Twitter at Nick Godshall. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.